how's it going? It's Maria from Happy Mum Happy Child here and welcome to yet another review of one of my lunch boxes that I've bought. This time it is the Planet Box lunch box. Okay, now this one is a little bit different from the others. It is the most expensive and it is fully stainless steel. Everything from the clip at the front to the hinge that holds it together, everything is stainless steel. Um, like I just said, it was the most expensive. So I'll quickly touch on this. You can only buy this, if, if you're in New Zealand, you can only buy it from an Australian website called biome.com.au or direct from Planet Box in America, which is planetbox.com. I will have I will have all of the website details on my own website in the official written review for this lunchbox. It cost me 80 New Zealand dollars plus 50 New Zealand dollars to ship it here. You might find a better price on the Australian website, but I chose to get it from the American website. Now, um, this is what it looks like when you buy it. Inside are also um, a put them inside two extra containers. Not very good. They are both stainless steel with a silicon lid on the top of it, so they'll be they'll be airtight and that they will be able to hold liquids and the liquids won't come out. I would imagine that'd be good for yogurt or maybe a juicy fruit or something like that. Now this is what this lunchbox looks like on the inside. I've always thought it looked like a little bit like a prison lunchbox or a, you know a prison style lunchbox. Uh, it's not the same as your yum box. It doesn't have individually sealing compartments. If I just shut it, you'll see that it's. Uh, higher on the top lower on the bottom so it kind of is like this rather than a straight sealed top like you have in your yum box so it just means that if I compare it to a yum box size it's about the same height as a yum box the only difference is it doesn't seal individually now I know it doesn't because I've put pretzels in one of these and then I shook it around and the crumbs went into the other compartments so yeah um, it's very generous in size, especially compared to the Yum Box. You can fit two sandwiches in here. Someone asked if you could fit two bulky sandwiches. Uh, my kids don't eat huge, big, fat sandwiches, but I would imagine you could do a pretty good job of it. Um, I put treats in this one here, and then snacks and stuff in here as well. Um, and it closes up like this. The original comes with um, no personalized magnets. You can buy magnets, sorry, they're fr a free com they come free. Uh, I chose to buy um, little star ones because I, I wanted to try and be a little bit um, uh, like non-gender specific because I want both my kids to use it. Uh, you can't put this in the dishwasher, you can't put the magnets in the dishwasher so you'd have to take them off. Um, but yeah, that's the idea right there. You can, buy, you can add many different types of magnets to suit your child. Um, you can, someone also asked me, what about keeping it cool? You can buy insulated bags through the Planet Box and Biome website. It does cost more, but if you buy it all as a set together with, the, with this lunch box, you get a discount on it. Um, you can also buy drink bottles and extra little pots like these. That, or There's a four sectioned pot set that you can buy that goes inside the sandwich kit. So you, you can personalize it, but like I said, it all comes um, at a price. Um, what do I think of this box? I want to be completely honest with you. I said this to my husband. I really didn't want to like this box. Uh, I didn't want to like it because of the price. It was $130 for me, 80 New Zealand to, sh to get it here and then uh, to buy the lunch box and then $50 for shipping. Um, but I love it. I actually really love it. Um, it, contain it. It contains quite a bit of food in it for my girl. Um, I'm not sure what it'll be like for my boy, and I don't know what it'll be like for her when she ends up going to school. Um, but at the moment, while well, she's just at the end of her kinder years, um, it's certainly enough food in there for her, uh, and it would be definitely enough for my young young boy. Um, it's stainless steel, which means it's it's very durable. If you drop it, the only thing that'll happen is it'll dent. Um, um, these are not these. This clip here does pop out very difficultly, but it, it wouldn't break. You wouldn't break this if you dropped it. Not like your plastic, um, your Sistema box, which will break a lot easier. If you stood on this or you ran over it, yeah, it's gonna break, okay? Or you might put a really big dent in it. But I know people that have used these for their kids throughout their schooling years, and it's lasted them a very long time. So it's a little bit like um, 
the cloth nappy versus a little bit like the cloth nappy versus disposable nappy you either spend a large price up front for something like this that'll last you a long time or you spend 10 15 dollars on this and you might have to replace it every year or every couple of years plus also something like this might go to a landfill it might not get even though it does say it's recyclable you never really know so my husband loves this for for the kids um I don't know what it'll be like when my girl gets bigger and I need to give her more food. Um, just to compare it to the next um, most expensive lunchbox, which was the Go Green lunchbox. If I can just open this up and show you the size difference or compare the size. So this one here was $70, I think. And inside it comes a drink bottle and a ice pack. Plus you get an insulated bag as well. So I'm just going to open up the, show you them side by side. So you can see the, the Go Green lunchbox is, is actually bigger. Um, and the depth of it is bigger too. Sorry. Okay. Now, um, if you live in New Zealand, you'll understand this. The summer of 2017, we have absolutely no apples in New Zealand. That sounds like the most ridiculous joke in the world, but I'm not even kidding you. We don't have any apples. So I don't have any apples to show you the apple test, which is basically does an apple fit in this? Pretty sure you guys will understand that definitely not. An apple does not fit in this. A whole apple will not fit in this. You'll have to cut that apple up and either add it to a sealed um, container like this or pop it into one of these sections. Does a pottle of yogurt fit in it? No, it does not. Again, you have to add it to the container. So um, whilst you know you can fit a whole piece of fruit in here that appeals to me completely um, I don't want to have to cut my kids fruit up for the rest of their lives because they do get to be old enough where they can just eat an apple whole and put the core in here so this is good for that this does not fit a whole banana but I could cut a banana in half and chuck it in there or I could put it in their bag and that's fine same goes for this you know you can make it work so if you can afford something like this for your kids then definitely take a look at it. There's different sized um, Planet Boxes out there. I bought the medium sized one, which is called the Planet Box Rover. I know they have a smaller one and a larger one than this, but I chose the middle one. So definitely go and check it out. There will be a price difference between them, obviously, because stainless steel costs money. Um, I don't know how I'm going to rate it yet, but I think I'm going to rate it quite highly. Uh, but I'm not. I'm definitely docking points for the price because it is a ridiculous price. But I also know that there are a lot of parents out there that don't like spending small amounts of money on something that's going to break. They would rather spend a decent amount on something that's going to last. Um, I don't know what this is like in terms of life, um, but this sort of thing would probably be where I go for my, my daughter when she starts getting a bit older and gets hungrier. Mind you, she'll probably get to the point where she's like, Mom, stop giving me food. So yeah, that is the Planet Box. You, like I said, you can get it from planetbox.com or biomi.com.au. I'll put all of the details, including my ratings and my experience with it in my written review on my website, which is on happymumhappychild.co.nz slash lunches. I think I'm going to say lunches. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is a different video. Um, I'm sitting down today. Usually I'm standing up in the kitchen. We have a lot of construction work going on in the new subdivision behind us. And there's a whole heap of guys out the back there. And it is totally weird to be talking to myself apparently while they're watching me. So thank you guys so much for watching and bearing with me during this 10 minute video. I hope this has been helpful to find out about this lunchbox. Um, the Planet Box really is a great lunchbox. I really want to hate it, but I don't. I love it. I'm probably going to, I was going to give it away, but now I think I might keep it for my girl for a little while because it's so cool. So yeah. Let me know what you think. And if you've got any other review um, ideas or suggestions, let me know. Thanks for watching me on YouTube here. Be sure to subscribe to me as well. See you later.